friends, it's Miss Jennifer. Welcome to our second week of our Blueprints at Home Bible Study. You know, I'm just sitting out here chilling outside again in my gazebo. Uh, I've sent the kids off to soft opening day at school and uh, Mr. Russell's at work. And so it's kind of quiet and you know, it's kind of lonely. There's nobody else around. It's just me by myself. I'm not used to that because we've all been at home together for so long with this quarantine. You know, you can feel lonely when you're by yourself. You can even feel lonely when you're in a big crowd because maybe you don't know everybody and you kind of just, you know, just feel alone even though there's people around you. You know, we all feel lonely sometimes. And that's one of those big feelings that God knows and that we have in our emotions and that's one of those feelings we're going to talk about today and how we can stop and identify that feeling if we feel lonely how we can uh, look around and and realize why maybe we have that feeling and then listen to what god's word says so i want you to pause this video and look in the description below to find the link to skip and Sue's who are going to talk about our lesson today so pause the video, go watch Skip and Suze's lesson, and then come back here for some review and some art time and fun with your Fuel family. Okay, friends, let's review our lesson. Now, Skip and Suzanne had quite the adventure today. We didn't see Suzanne very much with Skip. They were apart. And so Skip kind of got lonely. He didn't know what to do. He even probably got into a little bit of trouble with uh, all those tools and those jelly beans. So um, we know that when we're lonely that the Bible has something to say about that. And our lesson was from John, uh, the book of John, where Jesus went on some travels and met a woman on his way. So let's have a few review questions and see if you remember what you watched. All right, so revealing the first question. Okay, Jesus was traveling from Judea to somewhere. Where was he going? All right, think about it for a second. Okay, do you remember? It was... All right, I hope you said Galilee. Good job if you remembered it. Galilee. He was traveling with his disciples. All right. Are you ready for question number two? Let's see what it is. All right. How far is it from Judea to Galilee? Were you paying attention on that map? What was the distance? All right. Think about it for just a second. Do you remember? Okay. Did you say it? 70 miles oh my goodness that is really far you know they have to walk everywhere they didn't have cars or buses or trains or planes so walking for 70 miles that would take several days so they had to stop along the way good job guys okay let's reveal the next question where did Jesus stop Okay, so I mean like the region or town, you know, what was the name of that place where he stopped on his journey? All right, think about it. Do you remember? I'll give you a hint. This is where that woman's from. Okay, I bet you got this one. Samaria. Samaria. Very good. We call her the Samaritan woman sometimes. All right, good job, friends. Okay, let's get ready to reveal the last question. What gift did Jesus give her? Give the woman from Samaria. He said he had a gift to give her. And the little characters guessed several things. They said a uh, trip to Disney World. But that wasn't right. Do you remember? Oh, I bet you do. Okay, that gift was living water. Good job, did you get that right? Living water. Now, living water is like an analogy, right? He didn't give her water that was alive, right? It wasn't like that. Living water means he was giving her salvation, giving her the gift of eternal life. 
that if she would believe in Jesus, she wouldn't have to be lonely anymore. She'd always have Jesus in her heart to guide her and help her along this thing we call life. So, you know, Jesus is still the living water today, and he doesn't have to give it to you in a cup, right? He gives you uh, his word. He gives you his Holy Spirit. When we accept Jesus into our life to be our Savior, and he gives us that living water to help us through everything. So, we don't have to be lonely, even if we feel that way in our emotions, right? We can stop. We can look around and realize our feeling, and we can listen to God's word that he is our living water and that he is with us always if we will accept him. All right, friends, thanks for listening to your lesson today. Hey, friends, welcome back. It's week two and it's art time. If you look in your folders, you'll find two pages. The first one is this one here of this little boy who's full of emotions. It says he is lonely and sad. And you need to help him get back to his friends because he's lost and separated from them. So you can just work through this maze and help him out. While you're doing that, just remember that when I feel lonely, Jesus is with me. And when I am sad, God loves me. You can kind of relate to that. Maybe with school not going on right now and not being able to meet with fuel. Maybe you're missing your friends and you feel lonely or or sad sometimes, and if you'll just remember that Jesus is with you and that God loves me, you'll be able to get through it. If you look at your second page, it's a picture of a house. Drew was nice enough to, to color it for us, and she did a good job this week. But this week, you can color this, this house, and you can post it on our Facebook page or send it to somebody else, and they can get it posted for us so we can see all the stuff that you're doing. Uh, even though we can't meet in person, we can still see virtually. Hope to see y'all soon, thank you. Hey friends, it's Miss Jennifer. I thought we would go over our memory verse. Now, I've got all the words up here, but they're really mixed up. So I want you to pause for a minute, see if you've been working on this verse, and see if you can put these in order. So you can pause the video, you can just read over them for a second, and see, can you put the memory verse words in order correctly without my help? So look at it for just a minute here. Hmm. Okay, are you ready to try it? What is the very beginning of the verse? How does this verse start? Well, you got a really good clue if you know your English and your reading, right? That's right, the big capital letter, right? So. But even if we what? But even if we, if we don't do something, if we don't, if we don't feel, hmm, if we don't feel like just right, if we don't feel worried, if we don't feel at ease, Even if we don't feel at ease, God is, what is God? God is greater. God is the greatest, but he is greater than, remember we're feeling anxious and so we don't feel at ease. God is greater than our feelings. And because of that, right, he is greater than our feelings, comma, conjunction word, and... And what else? And he, God, knows our last one, everything. And this comes from the Bible in 1 John 3.10. So there's our completed memory verse. Let's say it together. But even if we don't feel at ease, God is greater than our feelings, and he knows everything. 1 John 3.20. All right, now you can do this at home. You don't have to use a window or even tape or a printed verse. You could write this down on paper. You could chop it up and you could put it on your table and mix it around and see if you can do it. You could do it with your family members in your house. 
and y'all can take turns, you know, trying to see who can do the next verse. You remember how we've done that sometimes at Fuel? We've had races with our memory verses. You can do this at home, and all that practice will help you to memorize this verse and hide God's Word in your heart. So, practice your memory verse this week, guys. All right. Hello there, Fuel Kids. Uh, this is Brother Jonathan. We're at Fall Creek Falls in, uh, in, in uh, Tennessee, as you can see. Uh, pretty amazing sight right there. One of God's beautiful creations. Uh, we're having an opportunity to enjoy that. I hope you guys are having a great Labor Day weekend. I just wanted to check in and tell you guys how excited we are to continue with our Fuel Virtual um meetings and so i just want to take a moment right now to pray with you guys and i uh, hope that you guys are, are doing well and uh, excited about this upcoming week and going back to school so let's go to the lord in prayer father god we thank you so much for this day and god we thank you for your beautiful creation and i just simply pray lord that you be with our kids as they go back to school this week or if they're just learning online lord that you might give them the direction and knowledge and understanding they need lord to do their work and Lord, I just pray, Father God, that you might be with them as we continue to study your word, that they might continue to grow and continue to uh, learn to love people more and more. Thank you for all that you do for us in Jesus' name. God bless you, and I can't wait to hope to see you guys soon.